the WTA Chef Showdown. Two teams will compete in head-to-head -head battle for the title of our very own kitchen's best chef. Welcome to the WTA Chef Showdown. I'm your host, Harry Rock, and we are in the Culinary Arts Department of the Westfield Technical Academy. Today we have two teams of sophomores and juniors who will com be competing for the title of Top Chef here at Westfield Technical Academy, as we fondly refer to it as the WTA. My fellow hosts today are Chef John Slattery, otherwise known as Chef Slattery, and Elena Gavrilova. Let's introduce our teams. On the purple team, we have Ryder, John, Emerson, Haley, Cheyenne, and Paris. On the yellow team, we have Grace, Cole, Mary, Hayden, Joey, and Liz Mary. These two teams will compete in a head-to-head -head challenge with a pork tenderloin as their first protein. Now let's get cooking. I see you're on grill right now. What are you cooking up for us? We're cooking our pork loin. Today we're doing a hot honey pork loin. And for our sides, we're doing a spring relish and a rice pilaf. Did you choose this recipe or was I it good? I did choose it. I did choose it. I just want our, our dish to yell spring. And yeah, so I think you're doing a good job with that. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Us too. We're very excited. Here we have the cooks on the yellow team watching their sauce reduce, trying to get to that perfect consistency to glaze their pork loin. Uh, I am currently cutting up some uh, 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 apple. apple, that's what we call it, uh, to, uh, we're gonna dice it and use it for presentation. Uh, and also we're going to use some of it inside of an apple glaze to put on top of the pork chop, or the pork medallion. I see you're zesting some lemons over there to give it a little kick. Yep. We're just going to use it to balance out the flavor so we're not getting too much sweet. And so we have a five balance uh, between spice, unami, savory, and sour. Oh lord, this is scary. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of just ready for this. We're just going to destroy the other team. A little sauce advice over here from the chef for the yellow team. So one of the great things here is we have two awesome culinary instructors that are guiding each of the teams, giving them feedback as they go and answering questions real time to help these uh, participants put out the best plates possible. Which team do you think is going to win? I don't even know the team, so I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Is Ryder competing? Yes. I hope he fails. All right. Okay. Today. Um, we are doing a apple pork with an apple glaze on top. Grab that other piece. Thank you. So what we're doing right now is we're going to tenderize the meat by laying it out. I'm going to hit it with a mallet. Do you want to go like this? Yes, we can. Okay. So we're going to get that all set up, and we're going to get that apple glaze with it and going with that we have a vegetable medley which if you want to know more about you can ask John and Cheyenne what is it we're working on over here for the purpose uh, we're doing a pork tenderloin with apples and it's a mixed vegetable oh. squash zucchini peppers and then we have a potato casserole in the oven right now potato casserole what are the ingredients in potato casserole? Uh, thinly fine potatoes, onions, rosemary, pepper, salt, um, pine cheese, and heavy cream. So for we're doing diced tomatoes to top off as a garnish for our medley. So we in our medley we have squash, zucchini, carrots, peppers, and onions. So we decided to dice tomatoes for a garnish with the carrots. How's everybody doing over here? Feeling excited? 
you guys have going on over here? Uh, Italian ricotta cookies. Did you guys choose this recipe yourself? Yes. What do you think the final product is going to turn out? Um, give us some details. Okay. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Is it like gonna be a cookie? Like what? What? It's gonna be a cookie. It's supposed to go with the recipe that my other part of the group is doing. So it's supposed to. Um, the flavors are supposed to, you know, help each other out. What kind of sauce that you're making? So we're making, um, it's basically a gravy what I'm trying to do, but like a lighter version of one, uh, just to cover the, like, glaze the stuff, glaze the pork. Okay. what it makes, it's nice and juicy. So it looks like the purple team is mixing up their donut dough now. Is that what's going on over here? And this is going to be a yeast risen donut. Yep. Not even one challenge in, and we're already having reports of cheating in the kitchen. Yeah, Grace sabotaged us straight in the middle of the round. Threw away our garnish and we just had to restart everything. That threw us off completely. We had some apples to go with our meal and then um, Grace on the other team ended up throwing them out on us. So there was this green uh, cutting board that was on the table with like apples and stuff the enemy team needed. And Grace told me to throw it out. Then Ryder came in and says who threw it out and Grace said she didn't know it was theirs and I was staying in my mind. She knows it was theirs. I'm pretty sure, you can check with the other team, but I think someone switched a timer, so that's definitely something. <laughs> yeah, so me and Cheyenne were uh, making potato casserole and five minutes go by and the timer goes off. We set it for 60 minutes and out of nowhere, five minutes goes off we are wondering what the hell's going on and then we see Mary running over and she takes something out and we're like what the f did you do and it turns out she uh, changed the timer on us back on the purple team things are seeming to move a bit too fast for John with only 30 minutes left on the clock people are starting to stress some people don't even have their food in the oven and as we heard the other team somebody turned their timer off so they are behind We'll see how the rest of the competition goes, but as of right now, things are not looking the best for some teams. Has anything else happened since last time we talked to you guys? Time, time. is passing. Too quick. I hate it so much. Are you guys stressing? Yes, actually. Now now I don't know if I should throw this in now or later because if supposedly time, we had this much time. Take my sweet time. All right, never mind. Looks like I'm taking my sweet time. So the frosting right now is very liquidy. So we're putting powdered sugar and half and half milk. And now it's, it's coming together. So this time it came out better. Uh, I'm not feeling great. There's definitely a lot of competition on the other team that I think will pull through with just everything, but I feel like our plating will be good.
Spoons are down. It's time for judging. All right. The kitchen is quiet. The ladles are down. The plates are plated. Ryder here from the purple team is going to tell us what we've got. So we have a we have pork with a Chesapeake Bay spice on it, and we have a drizzle of an apple um, glaze. Sorry, so we have an apple glaze over it, and then we have potatoes el gratin, au gratin which has some uh, green onions put on top, and then we have a classic vegetable medley that has been laid out with a little bit of carrot and a little bit of uh, tomato as a garnish on top. For dessert, we have jelly filled, no, sorry, not jelly, strawberry filled donuts. And representing the yellow team, we have Grace. Tell us about what you've got here. All right, for here, for my team, the yellow team, we have a uh, honey rosemary pork loin with a uh, apple cider vinegar reduction sauce. Um, and then we have rice pilaf and then a spring relish. And the dessert? And the dessert is Italian ricotta cookies with a brown butter icing. The judges prepare to get in their plating scores. And now it's time to taste. Bon appetit. I'm getting a very pronounced flavor on that pork. Mm. I agree. Uh, this has a little spice to it. Uh, great flavor. I love the sweetness in the pork. Nice soft texture too. Mm. Maybe a tad too sweet. I think the uh, cook on it is, is darn near perfect. Mm -hmm. I, I think the temperature is, is where it should be for this cut. Mm. What's your take on that? I'm getting into them now. This is going to be a treat for me because I've been avoiding carbs lately. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. Yep, the au gratin potato is very nice. Smooth. Kind of melts right in your mouth. There, There is a definite smoothness about it. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no need for additional seasoning, in, in my opinion. Uh, I, I like to have a little more crispiness on the edges or, or the corner. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's just a hint, hint more seasoning in, in the form of salt, but that, that, that'd be me nitpicking because I have a very strong salt palate. Mm. I like the way the plate is put together, uh, the vegetables. I, I like the vegetables to be, you know, height, but there's a lot of great color in the vegetables. And I love that with the reds, the, the mm. pink, the green, the yes. orange, and the yellow. And my nice, fresh spring feel to it. Absolutely. Yep. Right. Uh, the, the, the plating, what, what was decent, um, good choice of colors, uh, good, choice, good choice of the plate. Um, I, we, we do have the uh, a few bits of, of, scan, of scallion or green onion over in the corner with it looks like maybe a little piece of lemon zest, yep. uh, which is completely edible. Um, I don't see how that uh, becomes part of the dish, but, but it looks pretty. And, and again, the vegetables, you can tell they're very fresh. They're, there's not a very heavy or long cook on them. They, they have um, uh, a, a snap of, of uh, some fresh vegetables. And, and the flavor and texture. And that is another treat for me because again, I've been avoiding carbs. So I am going to enjoy this no matter how it turns out. Mm. So one thing I'm noticing right away is it is, it is a, supposedly a jelly filled donut, but it's not really jelly. It looks like it's fresh fruit. 
Uh, have mm. you gotten to that point? Yes, yeah. almost like a puree. I, I've yes. never seen that before. It, it's mm. more jammy or mm. more like a preserve than, than a jelly. Yeah. I like the crisp texture of the outer crust. It cuts very nicely. And it's warm. Is it warm? It's warm. Mm. Oh my. It's really flaky. I like that. You know, it, you know, mm. have you ever had a, a filled uh, beignet down in New Orleans? Mm. It, this will bring you right back to it. This is really delicious, yes. I'm enjoying the strawberry flavor. It's very pronounced. It um, is. You know, obviously, they had to macerate some of it, but with most strawberries in this area, you have to do that anyway. Mm -hmm. They have a little powdered sugar mm -hmm. on the top, which is nice. Gives it a little... A nice little cover coating. And, and, and the size of this too is just about perfect mm. because it's not, you know, you know, like going to the supermarket and getting one of those oversized like punchy things. Yes. You know, th this is smaller than your average donut, but b because it is in fact so, so different compared to other donuts, I, I think it's uh, the perfect amount. Yeah, very light and flaky. Big hit at the Big E, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. If you could sell many of these. Yeah. If anything, if I were to ding it on, I would say that the, the fry oil might not have been as high as it should be yes. because I am getting some grease on. Yes. Mm -hmm. The judges are now doing their scoring of the first team. I see some really nice marks coming down over here. It seems like they enjoyed what they had. I can't wait to see what happens with the next team. <laughs> Very nice. You ready to dive in? Okay. All right. I'm going to go in the same direction as I did the previous dish. I'm going to go after the protein and then onto the starch and then onto the side. Okay. I've noticed that there's a glaze uh, yes. over the pork in, in this mm. case. Mm hmm. You get the freshness of the scent, the flavors. It's just wow. Am I picking up on soy or teriyaki or mm. hoisin or something like that? There's almost an Asian element to that. There is. Mm. There's a nice, on the outside, a nice rub or some, uh, some sort of seasoning that I'm greatly kind of enjoying as well. Yeah, yeah, there, there, uh, yeah there, there is a rub on top of that glaze. Yeah. yeah. Now this, this pork seems to be cooked just a little over my liking. Yes, I, 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 would. I was going to mention that as well. Um, mm. I, I think um, that they might have been off by about a minute, minute and a half. Yes, still not unpleasant, but um, still good. I do want to note uh, before we kill the rest of the plate, the use of their garnishing, which uh, mm. uh, it, it makes a little more sense. Mm -hmm. it's, it's real petite. I like how it was Plated. This uh, vessel that it was plated in, it, it fit it perfectly. Mm. Uh, it round the plate, and right. round items in the plate itself. Yes, not it overwhelming. Cool. It, it yep. forces everything together. Absolutely. It makes yeah. it one cohesive dish. Mm -hmm. Now, the rice to me, I, I think the rice is a little pedestrian. I'm really not getting anything out of it. Mm. It tastes like maybe a brown rice. Yeah. Or, or the. Not sure. I, I think with the the medley on the side, it's got so much citrus and zing to it that it kind of it does a it good balances balance. the plate. Let me get into that. Mm. I'll go there next. Mm. There is a lot of acid there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I think I tasted right away the green apple. Yes. Which mm -hmm. is very refreshing. Yeah. I, I'm taken to the. Uh, I think it's a, a dried uh, cranberry in here too. Mm -hmm. And dried cranberry and, and, and green apple is a, such a great combination. Yeah, a classic combination. And I am going to try it with the rice. And I like the fact that you know, we're, we're talking uh, raw 
raw items on, on, on the side here. Absolutely. Yeah. But the citrus is just like, it's perfect. It's not overbearing. It's not bitter. It's just sweetness. Yeah. And I can see taking that to a picnic on a nice Absolutely. summer day. Very fresh. Yeah. A little ricotta. All right, let's see what we have here. Mm. I like the portion size. Excuse my finger. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it's made. Is a cookie? Yes, yeah. I almost used the fingers, but I will no, no, no. be civilized. Do it, do it the way you have to do it. Okay. That's the best way to get the full flavor. It looks moist. Yep. Exactly. Is it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I hate the most when it comes to a cookie or a cake. Mm. Anything but a flaky pie crust. Mm. If it's dry, it's just past the point for me. Oh. Uh, this is nowhere near dry at all. There is Agreed. plenty of moisture in here. This, yes. this is a great texture, a great moisture. I like the glaze on top. It's not overpowering. I would have liked a little bit more lemon in there. I think lemon mixed in with the batter Mm -hmm. um, to complement what they have in the icing would have thrown it over the top. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, the cook on it is perfect. If you take a look at the bottom, mm. it, it's a perfect Oh, bottom. yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, so. And, and I'm one person I could sit down and probably eat a bag full of these. I was just or going to say. Ju or just have one and be satisfied. Mm -hmm. One is just enough, but I could have more. Yes, I agree with that. Yep. Yeah, I would like a little bit more color on my plate itself. Uh, mm -hmm. By itself, you have this beautiful dessert, but maybe a little bit of red. A, a, sh a, a schmear of yes. something a along the bottom. Splash of color, yeah. 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 Just something yeah. you could break off and kind of rub it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go I think that would have been perfect. Right. Mm. This is going to be a stiff competition, guys. I'm going to have a hard time with this. This one. is going to be very, very, both were excellent, wonderful. The teams will be scored based on presentation, plating, taste, temperature, texture, cleanliness, creativity, and teamwork. The judges are finishing up and the winners are being determined. The moment has come when we're ready to find out just who our winner is. I haven't even peaked myself. So I don't know what it is, but round one winner. Hang on a second while I get this open. By a score of 80 points to 78, so the difference was only two points, the yellow team wins the first go around. So congratulations to the yellow team. On the next episode, six teams will compete in a grilled cheese challenge. Stay tuned.